Radical. Got some breaking news that has absolutely nothing to do with video games, so probably a lot of you won't even pay attention or care. It's sports-related, so, you know, this might anger some of you. Actually, believe it or not, there are people that actually get angry when I upload something talking about sports. Even though I have one of the best talking voices on YouTube, even though I think I'm pretty damn good at it, there's people that actually get angry and they say that I'm going to unsubscribe if you keep unloading things about sports. Unload? Yeah, unload. I got I got some unloading to do about this. I mean, to those people, I say, fuck you. I'll talk about whatever the hell I want to talk about on, on my channel. Thank you very much. So his name is Russell Westbrook. Last year, we called him Russell West Brick when I was playing with my buddy James. And it's getting that weather again where I'd be balling with my buddy James again. And he would have a corner three sell right over the rim. I would joke at James like, ah, you West bricked it. It was it was funny. It was. Everyone <laughs> renamed him that. They laughed at his expense last year. But this year, you know what? He took a reduced role with the Lakers. Well, I say this year, but like last part of last year when he was with the Lakers, he took a reduced role. He was bench warmer, but he made the most of it. He actually came into the game, had fire, some energy, was maybe a leading uh, person leading to maybe possibly be the sixth man of the year for the Lakers. You know, so that's a big jump up. That's a big jump up. I mean, still, he had some turnovers. He, you know, still chunked some threes. He still made some weird decisions at the end of the games when he was in the end of the games. You don't want Russell Westbrook at the end of the game, you know. But he's a hard-working guy. He always shows up. He's, he's a soldier, man. He gets out there and plays basketball. In a time when we have so many players that have doo doo boo boos doo doo boo boos Looking at you, Kawhi Leonard, and your load fucking management. Looking at you, LeBron James. LeBron James, by the way, has said like he's going to play the last 20-some games in the Lakers uniform. Yeah, I'll believe that shit when I see it, you know. Um, but there's so many players that basically just will miss games. And I, I, don't, I don't like that. Imagine paying a lot of money for a ticket to see LeBron James come to your town, but, oh, he's on the bench eating fucking popcorn, okay? No. Nah. If you're able to play, you need to get your ass out there and play. You make enough money, you need to get out there and play. And one thing no one can say about Russell Westbrook is that he wasn't willing to get out there and play. And he plays hard, man. He, he does. He doesn't play smart all the time, but he plays hard. So he signed with the Clippers. Did I mention that? That's the big news here. He has signed. He is going back to Cali. He wasn't away that long, but he's going back to L.A. That's where he's from. So I like this. I like that he's getting to go back to L.A. I kind of don't really 100% agree with the Lakers getting rid of Westbrook, to be honest. I mean, some people say their team is better. D'Angelo Russell, yeah, I can say that's an upgrade. That's an upgrade from Russell. Um, so I, I've yet to see everyone saying that, oh, the Lakers are now title contenders because they changed their team. I'm like, nah, that's not how it works, cuz. That ain't how it works. They won like one game, I think, since – the switch over and everything. It's that last previous one they played. So that's not how it works, man. Um, Russell got, I think, wrongly blamed for a lot of stuff happening in L.A. He got wrongly blamed. In fact, the last game he played for the Lakers, actually, I don't think he was all that bad the last very last game he played. They have a lot of issues. They have a lot of issues that are not related to Russell Westbrook. Um, I think the problem with Russell is you can't have him lead the team. You can't have him in there the whole game. You just can't because of his poor decision-making. If other people are making the decisions, if the coaching is on point and the Clippers have a great coach, I think he's a good fit with the Clippers. You know, as someone that's going to come in there off the bench in the middle of the game to fill some time, to do some of the hard work to get a lot of the rebounds, and, you know, you let uh, Kawhi and Paul George rest a little bit. That's what they're great at, <laughs> at least Kawhi. And you have somebody to do some of the heavy lifting during the game. And they have a, a deep roster. Clippers have some really great, great players. And uh, they're a sneaky title contender. Maybe not sneaky, but some people are actually looking at the West going, outside the Nuggets, the Grizzlies kind of unproven. You know, Kawhi Leonard, he's a former champion. So if he's healthy and Paul George is healthy, 
and then you have you add Russell Westbrook to that to actually just kind of assist them, then I think you have definitely a title contender. And I think it's a really good my phone is doing something weird. What the hell? Okay. Uh, you have something really good going on there, potentially. And I think part of the reason the Clippers actually did this was actually to, you know, stick a thumb in the eye of the Lakers going like, well, you know what? Okay. We can take this same player. Maybe we have better coaching. We have a better team. We have a deeper roster. We can take the same player and make him better in our system than the Lakers can. The Clippers have already beat the Lakers the last 10 times they played. They're 10-0 and 0 the last 10 times they played. Could you imagine if these two L.A. teams would happen to meet in the playoffs and then the Clippers beat the Lakers with Russell Westbrook and then they go on to the finals and they win a finals with Russell Westbrook? Well, wouldn't that be a story right there? <laughs> 